One Woman <laughs> Shoe is a massively successful off-off-Broadway piece playing now at La Mama. We have with us two of its stars, Amy Sedaris, co-creator and <laughs> the one woman of the title, and David Rackoff. Did you help create it, David? I think there's a lot of David's lines in this show. <laughs> Yes, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I, I felt that was you speaking. Uh, now, I have to confess, I did not see uh, The Red Shoes, uh, your show. Down. No, One Woman. One woman <laughs> Can we show. get a shot of Amy's Yeah, I see, I think it's called The Red Shoes because of those shoes. Uh, but Susan did see it, and uh, you're sort of puffing. Why didn't you see it? Uh, well, I cover broader for the Daily News, so I try not to go below 40. <laughs> he wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm sort of in favor of those Republican budget cutters who I think may have the uh, La Mama set in their sights. But uh, I hear it's very, very funny, and you're supposed to be funny, too, so welcome to Inside Broadway. Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, Susan, you saw this show, so uh, tell us about uh, the Just Red Shoe, or the One Woman yeah. Shoe. Right? Tell us about uh, One Woman right, Shoe. Yes, right. Tell well, us about Tom McCann. It's about the welfare state, right? Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration, Amy? Did you write this? Actually, this was David. Um, David's idea completely. Mm -hmm. You know, usually... Not me, Pete. The oh, real, David, my the brother. Real David. Your brother, David. Came to me with this idea about who wanted to do something on welfare. Wasn't it, didn't it, did it have to do in any part with the Frederick Wiseman documentary? Look at just <laughs> Hey, it might have. That's right. You were there. I would say. You know Frederick Wiseman. They were showing all his documentaries. Yeah, he played Dr. Robert. No. Don't, don't act like you, you know You actually don't know that's Joseph, Joseph Wiseman. That's right. Richard Benjamin. <laughs> that's right. You love Richard Benjamin. <laughs> I know. Right. Well, How much did you drink last night again? Uh, free martini. Free martini. <laughs> and, and a full right. dose of the market. No, I, I, our martini is a gin drink. You know, vodka martinis are for I like gin, too. I, what I agree with you, too. I don't. Bombay. Ba I, you, I love Bombay. Oh, no. uh, you drink, you like ba I love Bombay. That's all I drink. She wouldn't know Bombay oh. Sapphire. <laughs> she wouldn't know Bombay Sapphire gin Bombay. if it came up and chewed her nose. <laughs> it's gotta be no, that's what he drinks. Now, can you, you downtown Bombay? people afford Bombay Sapphire? I don't know, but they can afford a ticket to our show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's BYO at the Club of La Mama, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Bring your own book. Are you at the half price booth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Half price tickets, yeah. Okay. But it was David's idea. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. <laughs> now, who's David? And uh, you, your oh, brother and yes. mm -hmm. collaborator. And, and, and the idea is that women on welfare are forced to do work fair by doing performance art. Oh, uh, right. Putting yes. on a woman's show. Because yes. it's just about uh, all the hoops they have to jump through. So we just thought this would just be the best one. I mean, ridiculous hoop to jump through. And David plays a faggot. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and a social worker. A social worker. Mm. Yes. A beautifully dressed social worker. All my own clothes, you know. I, you have a lovely wardrobe. All inherited, mm -hmm. yeah. He had oh, it enlarged, you know, had them. <laughs> really weren't they really look, tight on you? Yeah, they were pretty shoes tight. Anymore. <laughs> they're one, they're red shoes anymore. Oh, go ahead. What are you saying? What have you talked? Who is this? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm the Broadway guy. Mm -hmm. so I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> La Mama. Where is La Mama? 74 it's, eight, it's up at the airport. Street. It's very convenient. <laughs> um, <laughs> East 4th between 2nd and 3rd. Now, this show was a big hit in the winter. Well, uh, no, you no, might tell, no. Might no this is the free form, whatever. Uh, whatever there was all right. One. So it's La Mama. Uh, it, it made me is this a homophobic show? I know what you're going to say. It was playing in the winter, and it was a smash hit. And I'll just, I'll leave this you, okay? <laughs> All right, so go ahead. And what's my next thought? Right. Yes. And, and uh, then we, it closed That's because right. something else was booked. But we right. were extended but from three to five weeks. Mm -hmm. that, and because of word of mouth, because La Mama has a hell of a time getting press. Yes. But anyway, you still, you came back, you won the OB. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did we win? <laughs> you won the highly coveted OB. Yes. And now you're the back. highly coveted OB, Susan. <laughs> He's drunk. Yes. Can um, we talk about the Obies? How drunk we all had to get? No, 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 no. We had I left by the Oh, the Obies are pathetic. There was we, no food. No, I know. Tell us about I know. They put, well, didn't they put we candy bars on the table? Mm -hmm. There candy was a bars and hot pack of red hot. hot. <laughs> he interviewed you there. Red yes, I remember yes, him. Yes. I did. It was a lovely night. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh that's why I thought I He spent the night. Remember, the next morning you made me an omelet. Very romantic. It had avocado and strawberries in it. Oh, really? Yes. That's That's my specialty. That's what I usually do. <laughs> well, I have to say, you are kind of, you are cute. Oh, but you look a little older in person than you do on stage. Oh, like <laughs> kind of louder? How do you know? You haven't even seen the show. Seen our show. When did you ever see me on stage? Unless it was at the Actually, Obie. Actually, no, I have to say, I, I have to fess up. You know, I've, I've been uh, a little bit playful with you. Uh, uh, I have You're seen crazy. you. Great <laughs> confession. I yeah. have seen you. I saw you in the other show you did, stitches. which was very f uh, best stitches, which I thought was. Do you think I look good. older in real life? I do. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Now, Michael, have you seen this? I was in a wheelchair and I had gray hair. How do I look uh, older <laughs> now than I did in stitches? <laughs> did you see I your stitches? A close up, please, to prove my point. 
Oh. Now, uh, I know a little bit about your brother because he's sort of broken out of your little off-Broadway world and is. Uh, like how doing, much older uh, do I look? Off now, I've been saying. I'm just kidding. Oh, but, I, I, uh -huh. You look like you're like 37, 38 without being. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my gosh, look at, the, look at the time. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up. Anyway, thank you so much for coming to the Inside Broadway. Next week, we're really? going to be entirely different. Really? How old do you think I am? Next week, viewers, we're host. going back to the Great White Way, so How old do you think I am now, in real life? In real life, how old do you think I am? I don't know, maybe... 24. 35, 36. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 really am I right, right now? Am I right? No. no. You're, well, I'm much younger than that. She's I'm younger than you are. She's 26. Nobody's younger. Nobody's younger. Nobody's younger than I am. I'm, um, I'm, I'm the boy genius. Nobody's younger than I am. And so then, <laughs> you guys reopened it at La Mama, <laughs> and now we're going to do it through August. August. Now, Amy, you <laughs> no, came through from... through half of August. We'll talk about it later. You came uh, from Second City, didn't yeah. you? Mm-hmm. How, were you in the main company? Main stage, yes. Very good. I toured and did. So, the whole bit? Mm-hmm, the whole bit. You yeah. were, have any people made it out of your group, or is it too early to tell? Well, look In our group, David. actually, all the people I started with, mm -hmm. um, I'm doing the TV show with Exit Fifty Seven, yes, and on um, also um, my friend Tim Meadows and uh, Chris Farley were on SNL. So, so that's your that's your group. Yeah, no, they do yeah. pretty now well. SNL, that's kind of a yeah. tank these days. You, what do you think of it? Who asked him anything? Who asked you anything? <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff intervened. <laughs> so uh, how did you hook up with the Sedaris Talent family? Well, I picked the Sedaris Talent. That's their call. Oh, they're calling you. Read your notes. He'll be there in a minute. They're calling you. They want you in the green room. Are you really going to eat my two blue? Um, yeah, I'll buy you some. Do you want these with okay. a new blue M&M's? No. So tell <laughs> them how you wrote David a love letter. Oh, I was going to tell them the part about how you were here on tour with um, Second City. Oh, uh-huh. And I was um, in the Marriott Marquis Lounge, and Amy picked me up. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You forgot about that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> Amy's carrying my child right now. Oh, I can't <laughs> tell under that. You said it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Okay. So you wrote, heard David on well, the radio. I wrote him a love cute. letter. I heard David on the radio, mm -hmm. and I wrote him a letter uh, under my. Um, I was working in editorial in a publishing company at the time, and I wrote him a letter about acquiring his book, um, which we didn't acquire, but we became friends, he and I. And then he asked me to direct their show, speed it up. I'm Speed sorry, it up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Edit, as Janet Jackson would say. We're just kidding. No, he asked you to direct your show. I'm fascinated. Go on. <laughs> All of it. The show, which I guess you probably saw, perhaps. The one where I play right. uh, eight, the old, 80 the old year old. Right. Yes, right. Well, that's closer to yeah, you. Whatever. Did that. You did see that well, one. You, you managed. Yes. That. And you that managed. Was, I have to say, that was that was a very funny show. Oh, I'm so happy. I did a couple of martinis <laughs> before, but I really enjoyed it. And fun. then you maybe hit a meeting or two. <laughs> right, right. And then so David asked him to direct the play. Yeah. David, this breakfast really story, yeah. tell us more. And then he directed Stitches, kind of. And then, uh... <laughs> oh, my God, we're out of time. <laughs> no, <laughs> the the show is called The uh, One Woman Chew. We're going to have to drink With that an wine right now. <laughs> All right. right. Is this the complimentary poem? booze that we got? Lady who lives we're going home to drink right. it right, right now. No. Well, I guess that's it for Inside Broadway. Next week, we're back. Next week, we're back to the Great White Way. I'm mad at you. Back to the Great White Way. No, One Woman Chew. Come back okay. anytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will. With a gun. <laughs>